Hello everyone, my name is Dusty and I'm still hanging out at the video store. Tonight I rented the Italian romantic fantasy Hearts and Armor, also known as The Paladins, a story of love and arms. Our story begins with Bradamante having gone to see a fortune teller who tells her she will fall in love with a Moor who is destined to be killed in battle. You will fall in love with an enemy, a prince. His name is Ruggiero. And that's the man who will kill him. Bradamante leaves the cave of the fortune teller and is soon assaulted by some animalistic perverts who only seem to be capable of grunts and squeals. But our friendly neighborhood Iron Knuckle isn't going to let that slide. Just take a little off the top. This is what happens when you get all handsy. He did say he was aiming to get some leg tonight. Who else suddenly wants chicken wings? Radamante, you left your comfort and wealth behind. But your bravery alone is not enough to protect you. Take my armor and sword, and no one will ever hurt you again. How's that for a superhero origin story? You'd think when an iron golem shows up and chops some of your limbs off, you might learn a lesson. These guys didn't. Maybe the wrong appendage was cut off. Tanya Roberts plays our Moorish princess Angelica. That's funny. She doesn't look Moorish. I love this close-up shot here where we can see that Bradamante is wearing the armor now. So this is Ruggiero, the bold and beautiful. Since Ruggiero's sister Angelica hasn't returned, he is personally going to go after her. Meanwhile, Bradamante encounters the paladins. Declare yourself, stranger! These helmets are so ridiculous. I kind of love them. The knight with the normal helmet is Aqualante. Chuckles over here with the sword hilt helm and his Ganelon. He's kind of a douche. And she looks as good as she fights. Guy Smiley over here is Ronaldo. Finally, we have Orlando, the young and restless. And who Meanwhile, Ruggiero has met a strange old man. I'm 37, I'm not old. <laughs> Soon after that, Ruggiero and his men clash with the paladins.
It's not really clear as to why they would take Ruggiero prisoner at this point, since they only plan to kill him at dawn. Orlando seems to be reluctant to be the one to do that for some reason. Bradamante, on the other hand. I will fight him. Angelica's my prisoner. Do I have to challenge the rest of you to earn the right? Then I will. Ganelon, I challenge you. And you, Ronaldo. Sarvaggio. Oh man, I completely forgot about Sarvaggio. He has the horned helmet. I want to free my sister. But I cannot challenge you because you're a woman. But I'll fight any knight you want me to. Fight me. Bradamante's pretty sure she wants to do something with Ruggiero that starts with F, but she's confused as to what that is. Why didn't you want to fight my brother? I too wish you didn't have to fight him. At this point in the story, it becomes very much like a soap opera. save me then you want to kill me now you want to help me again first you want to kill me now you want to kiss me why do you cry please go please get your filthy hands off that woman no <laughs> Now that was some straight up Dave Copperfield shit. You, what is this witchcraft? Speak. I tell you, she's a witch. Are you going to shed good Christian blood to defend the moor? Yep, 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 yep. While Orlando and Ganelon are fighting it out, Bradamante helps Angelica escape. Look, kids, it's Sarvaggio. <laughs> Goodbye, Sarvaggio. We hardly knew you. That's enough! You're both knights. Now we're going to check in with Ruggiero. Nice to see you again. <laughs> you again, little man. That line delivery is great. You helped me, and now I'm helping you. Well, thank you. What is your name? Atlante. Magical Gallagher here does his best birthday party magician impression, which prevents Bradamante from seeing Rogero when she arrives. Sorry! I should have left you hanging from that tree! Absolutely nothing can prepare you for what might be one of the finest performances you will ever see. Who has dared to touch you? You, the most delicate rose in the whole universe. I'm all right, Pharaoh. I only want to return to my father. Will you help me? Oh, princess. I, too, was on my way to the king, your father's camp. When my horse died from exhaustion. But of course, I, Pharaoh, will take you there and defend you if need be with my last drop of blood. No harm will come to you. I want you to remember that he said that last part.
You're going to go out there. You're going to say good night. I've had a very lovely evening. Walk out the door, get in the car, go home, jerk off, and that's all you're going to do. I'm beginning to notice a pattern here. Hey, I'm going to be headed for this. Yes, yes, yes. Behave me. Follow me in the oil. Still be alive. Cut me to peace. Say the thing. So long as it's afterwards. <laughs> I knew this cod piece was a bad idea. Get off my Kool-Aid, motherfucker. Hell yeah, I knew this cod piece was a good idea. Fight me! Don't I sit behind you? This is the way to carry a woman, not a warrior. You may be a warrior, but you're still a moor, and I don't want a moor behind me. <laughs> Christian! Farewell! I'll get you more! Of course, Nevermore would flip him the bird. <laughs> Bradamante encounters Adelante and threatens him to allow her to see Rogero. Can you see me now? I see you. That escalated quickly. Since Angelica and Ruggiero have still not returned, the Saracen King sends out his best men. They live to kill. They love death. Where the hell did they get a samurai? I'm looking for my prince. So this is Marfisa. I haven't mentioned her yet. I'm not sure if she's Ruggiero's betrothed or just a woman that's in love with him. Just for fun, let's pretend that it's his wife. While Bradamante sleeps, the Saracens and the Christians return to their respective camps. We're ready to fight. I want you all three to lead our army. No. No armies. Just three good men against their best three. Why? Because we'll win. And we 
because we want it. They don't have three men who can beat us. Three good knights. Four! Four. All right, here we go. One final battle to end this crusade. Most of these duels aren't that exciting, but the first one I find funny because it's like someone spamming a special move in a fighting game. This duel between Pharaoh and Aqualante is over before it gets started, but it is cool to see a sword breaker in a movie. have any jokes or comments for this scene let's just all enjoy it together I can't tell you how happy it makes me that that ridiculous helmet served a purpose. Rodero! Now is the time we get to see if Ridge Forrester can escape his destiny. What a twist! So, I know what you're thinking. Ruggiero's a coward. But no, Marfisa had drugged him. That's the only reason why he wasn't there. I absolutely didn't go into Hearts and Armor expecting to find a new favorite sword and sorcery movie, but I did. I love this movie, flaws and all. I love the soap opera melodrama, the overacting, the pointlessly frequent duels, and I love that 80 cent score. I highly recommend you check it out, 
even though I kind of spoiled it for you here. Get yourself a copy. You won't regret it. It's one to watch again and again.